Hi, welcome to Retro Down Under. Uh, so, for this first video, basically, I went to a local uh, sort of buy loan place and they had a bunch of consoles there that are untested, or in this case, sort of tested. And uh, I'm gonna have a look at them and see how they work, see if I can fix them, all that sort of stuff. So this is an original Xbox. Um, it's in fairly okay shape. Like, nothing's broken on the outsides. So if you have a look around it, um, it certainly seems like it's in dirty shape, but nothing too bad. Um, if you have a look underneath, you can see that it's been opened before, which makes me feel like it could be modified. And certainly, I bet you the foot comes off if I, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I don't even know if that was on camera, but you'll see there. If you remove the tape that's on there, the foot comes off. No guarantees this turns on or anything, but it does say on the little sticker that, uh, they had on it, turns on, but can't play in CD. So if it does turn on, it uh, could be a good fix. So I guess the first thing I want to do is open it up. I don't want to plug it in, turn it on and, and blow a fuse or something like that. So I want to see what's inside and see what's, what makes it tick. So I'm going to open it up and, um, and have a look. So I guess I'll start with this foot. <laughs> don't need that foot anymore. And yeah, there's uh, six screws, I think. It could be a seventh screw under the middle. I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five, six screws. Yeah, so you gotta remove the feet and they come off kind of easily. They just, I think these have been re-glued because they're kind of hard down. They usually wouldn't be, yeah, they've been re-glued 100%, um, which is probably what I'll do if this is all working. And of course, there's a chance it's not working at all because it's an old Xbox and Pretty low chance of them not working, but hey, you take those chances. So we're gonna start unscrewing everything. Which is probably gonna take me a while. All right, so we have it unscrewed now. So basically the Xbox uses one of those Torx. I think it's a 10 um, and it's just the same all around it. And the screws are pretty bloody long. But they go all the way through the case. So uh, I believe it's been a while since I take one of these apart. You just flip it over and can remove the top of the case. But it might need a little bit of a helping hand. <laughs> you can already see that it's Dirty as hell in there. There we go. Should come off. There's no clips or anything on these. They just slide out, but it's so old that it's kind of seized up. There we go. This is... Let's see what awaits us inside. All right. Let's put the case over there. There's nothing really on top of the case. It's just a heat sink and a plastic case. Putting that aside, I can see that we've got the original hard drive in there. Uh, actually, no, that's not an original hard drive. That is a 350 gigabyte. No, no, that's the drive spinning. My bad. Forget where to read all these ones from. Um, 16, so it could be just an eight gigabyte drive, which would be the original part. Uh, there's no, no markings there, but it looks like it should be that. Anyway, so this all looks like original parts inside. I can't see anything out of place. Um, there's one screw here and I believe that's it and you can pull this section out. So we're gonna go and do that next. Literally there's so much like empty room in the original Xboxes um, that you just, <laughs> it's all parts of plastic. So yeah, I believe that is an original hard drive. I'm trying, I'm just, uh, yeah, just by the age of it, it doesn't, it seems like it's like 16 gigabytes maybe, maximum. But yeah, we'll see if that even boots up in a minute. But I just wanted to see how dirty this was, if it was like cockroach infested and whatever, but it looks like, it looks like it's okay. The disk drive, which apparently doesn't play discs currently, is an original, uh, I believe it's a Samsung. Yeah, it's a Toshiba Samsung, September 2004. So it is one of the, 
original ones. And I'll just take the ribbon cable out of the back of that because this should come out on its own as well. Okay, that's out. And that just has a different power, but that comes out like that. And I believe this should just slide out too. It has been a while though. Oh no, no, there is one more screw just down the front there. I don't know if you can see that. Just down there, there's one screw. So hopefully I can get it with this. And that comes straight out. However, there's two screws I don't want to lose. So I'll tip them over. <laughs> there we go. Those two screws. And uh, that's just in there. And I believe this is just clipped in. This disk drive. But I'm going to put that aside for now. Because I want to see what this... What's going on here. So... You can see, it's actually not in bad shape inside. It's old, it's worn, it's a little bit dusty, which is not a big deal. Um, there's not a lot of rust. Normally with these, there's a ton of rust and cockroach excrement. But uh, it actually seems to be decent, which gives me hope that it actually will turn on and it's just a problem with the disk drive. And I didn't want to turn it, as I said, I didn't want to turn it on first because if there was something else wrong with it or something shorting inside, then turning it on is just going to ruin it before I get a chance to even do anything. Um, yeah, everything's in order in there, so that looks good to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all this aside and I'm going to take this disk drive apart and uh, I'll be back in just a sec. Alright, so here's just the Toshiba Samsung drive. Um, I haven't even tested it, but I want to uh, take it apart and see if there's anything inside that might cause it not to open because I know there's like a or a rubber thing in here and a cog and all sorts of stuff. So I have to switch over to a different head and it just takes just one of those. It's as small as you can get it. This one's quite large, but it fits and it'll work. So take this apart. There's, I think there's only four screws. I think you can just remove the plate. We can. There is something there that's broken. And it's just a clip that holds that in which isn't a big deal. It just keeps it steady. There's one on the other side, so it's it's fine. So it's just a plate, and then yeah, like you can see inside the drive, all the parts, and they actually don't, they look like they're clean. So I'm not sure, it just might be stuck. But uh, that's fine, I'll take the top off as well. So I believe we can take the whole thing off relatively easily. Yeah, I think it just comes away. So I'll turn that over. There we go. And there's the magnet that keeps the disc flush to it. So there, there's the insides. So it's just, I don't know, it looks kind of good. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, the cogs are there. If there's a problem with the cogs, I'll have to dismantle the whole thing, which I want to try and avoid doing for obvious reasons. I'll just try and move this along and down and out. So I just move a cog. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a cog just in there. And I just moved it, which drops the laser down and pulls the tray out. And if I can do that and everything runs smoothly there, which it does, uh, this whole thing will come out further, but I don't want it to right now. I can get to the rest of it. And it actually looks... Pretty good, that's spinning nice. They're all in order. Does this move up and down smoothly? Yeah, it's not, I don't know if it's meant to go back. No, it's a, there's a stopper there, so that's nice and smooth. I don't know if why there would be an issue, but I'm gonna clean the eye anyway, just with a tiny bit of IPA, everybody's favorite. And uh, I've just got a spray bottle IPA and I'm just going to use a, a Q-tip or ear buddy, whatever you want to call them. So I'm just going to spray it on there a little bit like that. And lightly touch the eye. You don't want to do too much to these eyes because they are plastic and they will melt away. So a little bit of IPA and then clean that up. Basically what I'm going to do is just reassemble this now because I don't want to touch anything because nothing looks like it's broken everything's in there i can see 
I don't know if you can see it, but I can see the rubber band up inside is all mechanically working fine. There it is there actually. The rubber band is the thing that goes in these most of the time because they stretch over time, so they're not as tight, but I can see turning that is turning the big one, which is making the drive come back in. So that looks like it should work, but it's an easy fix if it doesn't work because that it's just a rubber band. You can pull it off and replace it. Not a big deal. And now that I've pushed that in there, it's, yeah, it's ready for this to come back up, which is what will happen. But yeah, I'm going to reassemble this now because there's no reason for me to keep it open any longer. It should just be, it looks pretty good. So I'm hopeful. And if it turns on at all, it's fixable because even if the hard drive is old, these hard drives are the old IDE style, you know, I think they're 48 pins or whatever um, hard drives. There are converters you can get from these to start so I can replace the drive. As long as it boots at least once and I can get the drive code, we're good. And we'll do that later on, but I just want to get it all working first. Now I'm just going to put feet on, but I won't worry about doing that because I probably will have to open this back up at some point and uh, have a look at that disk drive because I've got a feeling it won't work since that's what it was labeled as. Um, but that is how you take apart an Xbox and how you look at it and what's inside. So all it's left to do is plug this in and test it, which I'll go to right now. All right, we're back with the Xbox. I'm going to try and turn it on for the first time. I don't even know if it's going to boot. Um, but I realized also that the controller I have only goes up to the breakaway and it doesn't have the actual connector that goes into the Xbox. So I've got to order one, but it won't stop it from booting and it won't stop it from actually booting a game. So we'll see if it even gets that far. So I'm going to start with opening the disk drive and see what happens. All right, so the disk drive, I heard it try to open, but I don't think the rubber band in there is actually strong enough to open it. However, the Xbox did come up on the TV there with the Microsoft logo, which means it read the hard drive. Hey, hard drive works. Well, I've got to set the clock anyway. <laughs> However, that shouldn't stop a game from booting. But what will stop the game from booting is the disk drive. So I can probably... There is a little pin at the front here that will make the drive come out. However, that won't do anything if the drive is stuck. Now, the drive being stuck is a very common thing on this and this is probably why it's labeled as disc doesn't spin because the drive it, it doesn't come out it's just stuck now there are things you can do for that yeah I can feel it literally rubbing the rubber band is just slipping instead of opening the cog um, but pushing that in should open that up so I'm gonna have to get something come back try and open that up and we'll see where we go however the Xbox coming on is a very good sign all right, so I've got a, little, uh, a longer pin here. See if it does anything. It's hitting something. Oh yeah, push the cog there. There we go. I hit it a bit further. So that drive will actually come out now. Hmm. So yeah, the rubber band in there is not strong enough. It's lost, it's lost its elasticity basically. So. It's just spinning on the cog. I believe that's what's not making it work. We can go break that down and have a look at it further, but I guarantee you that's what's wrong with it. I will grab an Xbox game, however, push it in, see if it spins up. All right, so I've got a copy of Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, it's a little scratched up, but it should be enough to boot. Um, we'll pop it in and we'll force it to go in, see if it does anything. Um, if it doesn't do anything immediately, I'll need to restart the Xbox. <laughs> okay, so now the cog's been reset. It might actually start working. No, the rubber band's still. But that's, the rubber band is not pulling it in. You need to give it a, a tap. Yeah, it's probably going to do this now because it's been forced open. That might be enough to reset it. Nope. Okay. I don't know if this is going to do. I'm pretty sure it's that rubber band. Let me see. Yeah, I can see it just spinning around. <laughs> I 
Okay, so definitely gonna need more work on this. Uh, I guess I'll come back to that. Okay, so <clears throat> it's, a, it's a couple of weeks um, since I last did anything with the Xbox. I had to order some parts, um, some rubber rings, and also a controller uh, breakaway cable, which finally came. That, that was what took three weeks. This came in a couple of days. But uh, because I didn't have a controller ready, I couldn't do anything on the menu. So I couldn't really test anything anyway. So now we're back here. I'm going to be taking the Xbox apart. I'm going to be putting the rubber ring in. And then seeing if it's a functional Xbox. Uh, because at the end of the day, that's what I really want. And then um, we'll go from there. So I've got to unscrew everything again. So I may just skip past this, fast forward it. All right, so the hard drive's out. I'm not doing anything with that today, but it is out and it's free. Now the disk drive has been unplugged as well and that should be free to come out, I believe. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna be focusing on, the disk drive. So I don't need to do anything with the, the Xbox. And it's actually really clean inside motherboard as you saw before in the other clips. But since then I've actually figured out that this is a V1.6 um, Xbox original, which means I don't have to do the clock capacitor thing because it's, it's not a problem on these ones. Um, but to install like a, a open Xenium chip, I do need to do something else as well, which we'll get to at some point. Um, yeah, that's, that's my plan for it anyway. So hold on to that. I'm just going to put all this aside because I don't need to do anything else with the actual, uh, unit right now. This is the main attraction. It is the, I think it's a Samsung. Is it a Samsung? Toshiba Samsung. So it's a joint venture. They just pop out. So I don't need that right now. It's just a bracket. Bracket can go back over there. Now I just need to open up the hard drive and see if I can get to that rubber ring. Which I'm pretty sure I can. It's just a regular screwdriver. I'll just use my mini one. Okay. So what I need to get to in here is actually underneath this tray. And I believe this tray can just come out if I was to pull it far enough. Maybe I'm misremembering that. The tray does come off though. I just forget how. Yeah, I'm not sure how the tray comes off completely. I may not need to remove the tray anyway completely because I just need to get to this rubber band here, which you can see is really yeah, if you can see that rubber band just in here, it's really loose. So that's what I'm going to be replacing and hopefully that's the, the, the main issue here. So I'm just going to get something to remove that with. I've got my tweezers right here. Should just come off. And yeah, you can see it's kind of misshapen. Yeah. Hopefully that's all it is. It, it seems a bit crusty too, so it's definitely... Uh, quite aged so I got two here because they come in packs of two or a hundred and I didn't need a hundred of them but uh, who knows in the future maybe <laughs> so the difference being uh, if you can see the difference here the ring is definitely misshapen so let's just see if I can get this to work I'm just gonna pop it around that and then pop it around that that it definitely seems to be tighter. Much, much tighter. Alright. Yeah, I didn't need to remove the tray at all. Which is nice. And you can see when the disk drive goes in there, the disk... It doesn't actually pop up at the moment because it needs that rubber band to pull it up so it can read the disk. And the problem I have at the moment, even if I can shut the drive myself, the disk won't read. It'll sort of semi read and, and it won't do anything because I, I don't think the drive is strong enough to pull itself up. That's all I'm going to do actually. So now I'm just going to reassemble this and test it. So here's, the, here's me reassembling it. Okay, the Xbox is back together. I'm not going to put the feet on because there may be, may be more I need to do to it. Also, I plan on upgrading it and stuff later on. So I'm not going to put the feet on until I'm completely happy with this Xbox. But that's it for now. I'm going to Go plug it in and um, see what happens now. So join me in a second. Okay, so we are at the Xbox with the TV. I'm gonna turn the TV on. You'll probably see it flicker, 
but that's okay as long as you can kind of see what the image is behind it um yeah give it a go i guess oh that sucked in because it was already out there's no disc in there let's we'll see what it wants to do so it comes out okay it's <laughs> looks like it might still be doing the pop out I'm not 100% sure why i will be doing that. That is crazy. I might just adjust the time here. It doesn't matter what time it is. Uh, yes, I did get the breakaway cable for the Xbox controller. Oh, it's at the end here. I don't know how many But yeah, it's, uh, if you can see that, breakaway cable. I had to order that. That took fucking three weeks to get to me. So nobody had them. Anyway, so, why are you not staying in now? Okay, stayed in that time. I don't know. I'm going to grab a game and see what happens. Good old Simpsons hit and run. It took it in on its own that time. I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so it's out. Let's pop it in. I'll put the Xbox logo. You may not be able to see this on the camera, but the Xbox logo of the disc is facing towards me. So if it turns, I know it's spinning. It's still doing the same thing it was doing with the rubber band, so. That is super odd. So that rubber band should have fixed this issue. So I've got it to stay in, I think. I don't know if the disc is spinning. It's definitely doing something. The Xbox is confused, maybe? I might have to actually uh, disassemble the whole thing and uh, clean up the cogs and stuff because there may be some sort of issue to where it doesn't feel like it's in, like actually inserted. The disc didn't spin. Okay, it's doing something now. Your Xbox can't recognize the disc. Make sure it's an Xbox game, DVD movie, or... Oh, yeah, so that that generally means dirty. Um, it did spin because the Xbox logo is facing sort of this way now. Um, I'm kind of at a loss here. <laughs> I may have to take it back apart uh, and, and see what's going on. It may be a problem with the laser um, or the disk drive in general. I was really hoping that would be a rubber band fix because, uh, yeah, it's able to take it in, but it's still not really strong enough to stay in. All right, well, I'll uh, stop it here and decide what I'm doing and I'll record the rest in a minute. So. At the end of the day, the Xbox that I have right now, I cannot fix. Um, mainly because the disk drive that you can see kind of here, uh, it has a crap laser, is what I'm putting it down to. I've adjusted the potometer uh, just to make it sort of read better, but it just didn't, it didn't read. So it just would spin the disk and try and read the disk all the time. Uh, the only thing I'm going to be able to do is get in another Xbox and get the drive out of it and replace it with this one, because this one's not fixable. The drives themselves are really expensive on eBay right now, so I'm not going to order one. Uh, but I can get another junk Xbox and try and make a Franken Xbox out of all of those. And then I'll mod this one and go and do that in a whole other video. Uh, I'm going to leave this video as is though, with this not working, just because this has already taken three weeks to do. And uh, I really don't want to spend more time uh, between videos, but I will do like a part two, like an update, where I actually get this working, get mod installed and do all that at the same time. So hopefully you bear with me and this is really a disappointing sort of first bird of the video, but it's not the end and I will fix this Xbox and get one working hopefully before the end of the year, I would, I would imagine. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.